Father, to whom hast thou uttered words? Yes, there's six questions. To whom hast thou uttered words? And whose spirit came from thee? You're going to have your words manifest, it manifests the uh, uh, counsels of your heart, and you're going to have a chance. But listen, this is a grace that God has given to us. We talked about sanctification being set apart. You're already sanctified. We're not talking about that. But there's a process of growth that he gives us by grace, the opportunity to gain the character of an overcomer, earn a reward, and it'll be part of the bride's adornment. Okay? The New Jerusalem will be part of the bride's adornment. And, 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 and over there, in, uh, I think it's Joshua says, how, how can a, a bride forget her, 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 uh, her attire? By, not by forgetting God, forgetting God. Don't go from here and go back and, and make God part of your life every single day. And I would like to add one question. I'm going to tell you, you're failing. You're failing if, if there's any friend, neighbor, relative, classmate, uh, work, somebody you work with, if they don't know you're sold out for Christ, then you failed God and you failed them. So always, do, do people know who you are and what you are? And don't be afraid. Listen, great boldness comes with, 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 when you build on the Word of God. I, I think the Word of God is the, is the key to holiness and the key to serving God. And you build yourself in the Word. Study it. It's nothing more rewarding, nothing greater than to, to have that light go on. That light go on. And, and, and uh, uh, as you know, that relationship with God is so personal and so, so special when you, when you finally see something from the Word of God. We hang on every word, we try to, you know, uh, the preaching and all that, but uh, get into the Bible yourself. You've got to have a personal time with the Lord. Uh, the three points is over, and uh, I just hope it will be encouraging to you. Uh, listen, Pastor, thanks. I, I always said I would never turn down an offer to talk about my Lord. I'm not as eloquent <laughs> as the rest of you probably that put me. Not certainly not as good as Davis, but my verses are better. No, they're not. No, they're not. Thank you, Amen. Brother Long, for sharing with us wonderful reminders that we're going to see Jesus soon. And all of our works will be made manifest. Now, our sins were judged at the cross through Christ. Those won't be named. We'll give an account for how we ran the race here. So those, those are important reminders. Just, uh, again, and he was talking about the judgment seat of Christ. That's uh, really where we give our an accounting as Christians. But then there's another judgment. And that's for those who had an opportunity. And that, now all men have the opportunity to come to Christ. But they rejected him. Because they followed false religion. They, they questioned the Bible. They, they doubted and rejected Jesus. They wanted to have a personal relationship with Him. And as a result, they're at the great white throne judgment. Nobody is allowed to speak there. Because Jesus is judge and jury. He's seen it all and He knows it perfectly. And then, and then he'll, he'll declare judgment perfectly. And so, again, if, you, if you're here this afternoon, and I, I'm thrilled, by the way, how many of you stayed? Uh, what a blessing. But if you're, you're here, maybe you're part of our church family, maybe you're a guest, but you honestly don't know Christ as your Savior. Don't leave here today without, please, letting one of us take the Bible and show you from God's Word how you can know for sure your sins are forgiven and that you're saved. Especially on a military day when, when we've heard about those who came back and those who didn't. We don't know what a day is going to bring forth. I am not guaranteed the rest of today or tomorrow or the next day. So now is the time to come to Christ if you're not sure. 
just a moment. I'm gonna. In fact, I'll I'll do it now. Staff, if you have uh, things that you reminders that you need to share, uh, let you make your way to the, the platform here. Uh, but uh, again, thank you everyone who, who had a part in, in the services today. Military members, thank you for your service. Families, for all that you uh, you sacrifice. Uh, for us to have the, the freedoms that, that we have. Uh, let me just share this testimony with you. Uh, I wanted to share this to give glory to God. Uh, today is a day where we've honored Vietnam veterans. And uh, let me share something, share something special that God did on Paris Island just a few days ago. We got a letter from our Ryan. Somebody asked me today, you know, are, are you a Marine? I well. Uh, that wasn't what God called me to do, um, but we've uh, got one who served eight years Marine Corps and one who's on Paris Island as we speak. Get ready to start phase two. Thank you all of you that have written to Ryan and are encouraging him. But a couple days ago, it was the Lord's Day in the chapel. They had a Vietnam veteran come out. The man had no legs because while he was in Vietnam, he stepped on an, uh, an explosive and lost his legs. But the man knows Christ. Amen. And he stood in front of hundreds of Marines, shared his testimony about how he came to faith in Christ. And Ryan said in a letter that he wrote to us, one of the clearest presentations of the gospel he's ever heard. Amen. And then he had all those recruits bow their heads and he said, if you want to repent of your sin and receive Jesus as your Savior, let me offer a simple prayer that you can make your own and pray to God and save you. And, and he wrote to his mom and I and said that day, um, after the prayer, he said, now if you meant business with God, raise your hand. And Ryan looked around and he said there were hundreds of Marines who had their, wow. recruits who had their hands in the air. And in fact, a close friend, the guy for Ryan's unit, um, um, prayed to receive Christ. Amen. And so I, I just thought, Lord, what an encouragement. And on this day when we're remembering Vietnam vets, God's still using you guys. Just did that on Paris Island. And uh, still using your testimonies of what, uh, what God has done, done through you uh, and for you. So continue to be a, a testimony. Again, thank you for allowing us to be able to honor uh, you today. Thank you, Longs, for uh, your testimony. Brother Robert, would you again just stand and introduce the guests that you have with you today? Tavis uh, mentioned them, but would you mention uh, who, is, who is with you today? Yeah, I got my people. Uh, Come on up here so everybody can hear you. All right, sorry for the workout. B. Cox and I were classmates at the academy. We graduated, we went in there in 63 and graduated in 67. <laughs> I'm going to be 75 in February, and I can't believe it. My mind never developed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I look at Pete, and I say, yeah, we're getting old. Oh. <laughs> but Pete, will you stand up? We, yeah, yeah, stand. He, he, was a, he was a Christian at the academy. I was 20 years old when I got mm. saved. I was a nasty person, and... and uh, <laughs> You know, I was a scrapper. I wanted the reason I wanted to go to Vietnam is, I, you know, I wanted to fight. I, I wanted to see if I could stay alive. Black uh, ears weren't you know? enough. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the Nacom Phenom. It was a uh, Malaysian sun bear. That thing would, uh, you know, that was a, it weighed about 150 pounds. It was a small bear. But I was the only one that could pin it. <laughs> and, uh, they, they used to throw guys in there every once in a while, the new guys. But uh, that was a, that, that was with a bear. But that, that was a nickname they gave me too at the academy. And then uh, be that, Brother Barry is a, 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 a missionary, and maybe you can just up, I don't know in the Caribbean somewhere. And introduce your wife. Oh, Charlotte is Pete's wife there. Raise your hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> they met at the academy. They got married. Did you get married right out of grade graduation? No, three days later. Three days later. <laughs> <laughs> so they have, uh -huh. they have some doubts. <laughs> okay. Brother Barry. Uh, I graduated. I was on the wrestling team. 
game that you were on. And I can't remember yet. <laughs> you weren't very good, were you? Ha 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 for five years in search and rescue in Horry City and Portsmouth. Got out, got a, uh, I was saved when I was 12. Got out, got in the bicycle shop business for a couple of years, working in a church, and God called us to the mission field, and now we're some 40 years. We were first in the Marshall Islands, halfway between Hawaii and Australia. Now we're in the Caribbean the last 30 years, uh, almost down to Venezuela, due west of uh, uh, Barbados. Uh, our last effort that we did started with an empty field and a tent. Now I have a church building and have people trained to teach and yeah. preach the word of God. Amen. Amen. And I'm supposed to be retired. That's the required of our mission board, so my birthday's in March. I retired the 1st of April. April Fool's Day. We should be able to stay another three years before we were back now doing what we're doing. You make a Coast Guard proud of you, too. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let's make up for me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wanted to be mm -hmm. to guess that you have been. Mm -hmm. All right. Make sure that you meet the longs, uh, ask them more questions, hear more stories. Uh, my side still hurt from having dinner with all of them last night, laughing so hard. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for for the right price, I'll tell you some more stories. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Pastor, Pastor Long, Pastor Brown, <laughs> long day, Pastor Brown. Right. <laughs> I'm okay with being associated with him. Yeah. Um, just a couple of reminders for you. I encourage you to read through your bulletin. Not going to take a lot of time at this point, um, but would remind you coming up uh, the week of Thanksgiving, as we always do, rather than having a Wednesday evening service, we'll have a service that Tuesday evening. It's always a wonderful time together as we praise the Lord. Uh, so just a reminder for your calendars, keep that in mind, plan to be there for that evening. Uh, we'll begin at 7 o'clock. And then also, thank you to those of you already who have expressed interest or even brought in cards for Matt and Nikki. We want to surprise them with some cards at Christmas. My dad's going to be going over there and bringing those along with him. Um, there is a box. I'm, it may be at the Welcome Center today. Um, it'll be back out in the on the foyer table on Wednesday. It'll be there through December 11th. And so that's your opportunity. Many of you, I know, want to be able to be a blessing to them that way. And I know that's going to be great uh, as they receive those cards. Let's pray. And then uh, please stand and we'll be dismissed. Father, what a wonderful privilege it's been together to worship you today. Uh, thank you for the character of so many uh, that is so evident as we think about their military service. Um, and Father, so many that I look up to uh, who made great sacrifices for the sake of their country. Many of them made, have made great sacrifices for your sake. And uh, Father, I thank you for each of those that we've been able to honor today. I thank you for so many in our church who have served our country that way. And a uh, father whose, whose allegiance is strong to their country, but is even stronger to you. And uh, even as we go today, and as we have the day tomorrow, um, Veterans Day, would you help us to be quick to thank these men and women for their service? Amen. Uh, would you help us to have grateful hearts? And Father, may we take for granted nothing of what we have because of their sacrifice. And Father, please, Help us not take for granted anything that we have as a result of Jesus Christ's sacrifice for us. As we go through this week, may we follow you closely and encourage one another. Pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Amen.